Where do I? Morgan's upset because she thinks we're about to get eaten. <laughs> we just saw lions in the goddamn bush. We buy bushes and she want to get out. So I've realized this whole trip, we've been here maybe three days and I've probably recorded like 0% from my like perspective. So here we are, we're on our way to Masay Mara. We just were like surrounding the Great Rift Valley, is that what it's called? I feel like I'm in the Lion King, genuinely. All, all the words, Akuna Matata means no problems. It doesn't mean no worries. Don't laugh at me, our God up there laughing. Cause we country, you know, we ain't been nowhere. Child. Well, I ain't been nowhere. Morgan been places. This this is a real trip trip for me. Say my tent number two. Girl, why well, hear something behind me? <laughs> Welcome to our new MTV cribs. Here's our room in the safari. Our tent. A nice little chair. Oh, a little vanity. There's our bathroom and our shower. And here's me. Okay, so funny story. We stopped at a shop at the Great Rift Valley and my homegirl loves stones and stuff, real spiritual, you know, earth back. And she told me to get her uh, a stone. And so I was looking at the stones and I heard amethyst, which I, that's probably the only one I know. So I asked him how much it cost. He wants to charge me $25, but in Africa you begin, which means you bargain. So I bargained and I told him I didn't want to pay more than $5 for a damn rock. And he went to eight. So I paid a tiny rock. A tiny, I mean, blow it out my hand it's gone so he said but it brings you good luck on safari and i said mm, okay whatever give me the rock i'll get it for my friend because it's from africa <sighs> we're about an hour into our safari because let me tell you something i definitely doubted the rock i doubted the rock too and here we are there's a, a thing called the big five it is what is it it's elephants giraffes it's buffalo it's leopards and lions and it you know you get lucky if you see all five well, right now, an hour into our first safari, we've seen four. So, I doubt, I feel so horrible for doubting that poor little African man who tried to tell me. Oh, shoot. The civilians. Say hi. Jumbo. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> That is a whole fucking leopard in a tree. Welcome to Africa. So 
So Morgan, when we stop at a, a little small shop again and they tell us it brings us good luck. Listen. I'm, I'm picking up all the rocks. <laughs> if they say a man comes with a rock, bitch, I'm taking six. <laughs> I'm not chancing it with these African mystical rocks, okay? <laughs> if I see one outside this car, we stop it, okay? At this point, if they say elephant shit, is it? I'm grabbing a handful, okay? Because <laughs> there's something about Africa. I don't know something what it is. Something about the motherland, baby. Something about being from here, but not from here, okay? Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. You didn't know this is the actual location where Simba was coordinated into Broad Rock. literally lions eating right here. That's insane. The lions. I'm recording selfie mode, oh. girl. Do do do. Baby, these lions. They tore this up. The buffalo stood no chance. I did this not want to meet a, a lion. Buffaloes and a whole bunch of lions that just went and killed them. Could you imagine eating these ribs? They might be good, low key. They're grass fed. <laughs> They're big. Like, could you imagine the meat on that bone? I'm a Texan for real. I bet you my daddy could make these good. I bet you. Mm. And then it was like a big group of lions, and they just came and attacked three of the buffalo and then one little family drove a buffalo here one drove a buffalo over there and then the vultures are just waiting you know and here we are wow circle of life is wild so let me get this ghetto ass <laughs> interpretation <laughs> off my phone how do people look at stuff like this and don't believe that there's a god like how do you look at something like this i'm not sure what you could possibly see this is breathtaking. This is insane. Those are all elephants. Dog, I'm scared. Morgan, come on. Like, this is crazy. We use we to use a flashlight to get her. Oh, Morgan. Morgan. Oh, bitch. No, there's a. Look at my eyes. Hold on. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. You see? Oh, do you see it? What? The eyes. Oh, look. Uh-uh. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying to watch our back. Hell no. Hell no. Oh, bitch. We eating and coming home. Give <laughs> me no shit. Oh, oh, my gosh. I can't even breathe. <laughs> Good African morning. We're here. And we're going on day two of our full safari. We're going to the Mara River today. And we're gonna go see the Maasai people. And we're gonna see the big five, right Simba? Oh, so I sent a text message to all the animals, eh? Our, our drivers. Uh, everybody is waiting for us. 
our our driver he sends text messages to the animals and he sent it to four of the big five yesterday and they got the message hopefully the rhino gets the message today i think the rhino got the message you think so i think so so we're on our way and um good massey tomorrow morning Morgan's upset. <laughs> Because she has us outside. Because in the, we're in the wild. Morgan's upset because she thinks we're about to get eaten. We just saw lions in a goddamn bush. We buy bushes and she want to get out. Yes. There's a buffalo all the way over there. The lions are somewhere in the bushes. But our, our truck is stuck. So... I'm having fun. I lunch for the lounge. You don't know what will happen. <laughs> listen, listen, Simba. If we get stuck, she's going to close that door we on us. We got stuck. We might be lunch for the lounge. We don't know what to do. We Look how big. We stuck somewhere at the savannah. This poop is. We're fine. I feel alive. I feel like I'm at home. I feel like you're fucking crazy. I love it. I'm we got a little stuck. Just a little. Just a little. We tried to push it. We tried to push it. I tried to be a team player. <laughs> she's so. We just left the bushes like this where there were lions, and she's trying to have us outside with the damn lions. Why? Why am I outside with the lions? Child, it's a buffalo over there. It's damn near walking distance. It could come and just run and come to us. Like we oh in the wild. We're stuck. It's the circle of life. It's the wheel of fortune. It's the leap of faith. Wow. Akuna Matata for the rest of your days. It's a problem free. She's happy that we're out. Philosophy. And not in the car. A cool never taught Get the fuck out of here. B.O.P. Hold it down. Hey Our help is arriving. Rescue us from the, 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 lion, the lions. Right. We're stuck. <laughs> the because I figured we'd have to stop everybody if we could push it. Yeah, we'll be there for I think. Ooh. Come on, move us out. For like three or four days. Mm. So your full, your full holiday was. Uh, we out. We out. How you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling good. <laughs> We call it Kasimba. <laughs> yeah? It's Kasimba's fault. Kasimba. Mm -hmm. huh? Bad boy. The, mm -hmm. the, the, the lion. The lion. Yeah. yeah. The lion boy, yeah? Yeah, he gets us real close. We like it though. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> she doesn't like it. I like it. It's part of the game play. Yeah. That's so what you paid for. Yep. Right. I know that's right. <laughs> Ooh. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me, walk with me, walk with me, go, go. <laughs> not them clapping, <laughs> don't clap for us, <laughs> you see behaving, eh? <laughs> let me tell you something about my man Kasimba, okay, we were down bad, we were in the trenches, but he got us to the giraffe just in time. We were down bad. We needed to be rescued, but he found the giraffes.
Well, guys, I don't know if it was the amethyst rock I bought on the way here in the Great Rift Valley or if our tour guide Simba really is the rock. But uh, we have officially seen all five of the big five. No, there are three <laughs> girls coming, and I know I don't want you to go to, for, for your off. Okay. Just take care of the girls, then from there you go for your day off. Yeah. Because you know me. You also ask me, how do you spot the animals? Do you all see that? Thank you. Are you? Um, officially seen the big five. This is a black rhino. This is all we needed. We've seen the big five. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. We've seen the big five, baby. If I'm doing the safari thing, I've done it right, okay? Next time, next time, two years, I'm gonna be doing safari tours. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You know, I like it. We did it. And now we're on our way to the Mara River so we can see crocodiles. The Crocs. Can't wait to see that. Oh shit. Okay, well, I guess we need to hurry up and eat. We're enjoying our picnic right now. And uh, as you can see, the elephants are just casually walking across Mase Mar. Okay, we are eating our lunch on the Mase Mar. Morgan, what would you say off the top of your head are three things that people should know before coming to the Mase Mar? So I think the most, I think the, the the biggest thing, like you mentioned in one of the earlier videos, is to come in the November December time frame. I think that that's that was the off season. Yeah, the off season. There's less people out here. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. There's not as many people. Um, the weather's cooler, so the animals are out more. We saw all the big five too. Yeah, and that doesn't usually happen. So I think it has to do with. The timing of us coming yeah i mean this is a 10 out of 10 experience for sure life, like life i changing. would like start saving money to take my bring my kids here if i ever have some like i would love to like if i don't have kids like bring a family like i would love to like be able to bring somebody else here one day i'll say this i just think it's black people in general like coming to africa even you know, if it's babies, kenya i mean kids Morgan, not you doubling back. Like I was saying. Not babies, but I would bring my teenagers. Okay, anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, as black people in general, we really got to come back to the motherland. I think it's like a, it's like a, an awakening almost. Like, and it's like a connection that you never knew that you could feel or have. Or I told Morgan the other day, it was like finding out at 18 that you're adopted and your parents never told you that. But once you meet your birth parents, having like a weird connection with them, like, you know, you're not... Like, you don't know them as your parents, but they have, like, maternal feelings. It's kind of the same way. Like, I wasn't born in Africa, but obviously I'm, I'm African. Like, I have African heritage, so it's like this weird reunion, right? Like, I'm, I'm at home with my peoples. So, anyway, 10 out of 10. We're not even halfway through the trip yet. Thank you for checking us. Coming down at all that stuff. Thank you for giving us another one. So, when you're on this side, do you end Tanzania? Now Kasimba is in Tanzania. <laughs> <laughs> you crossed the border. I crossed the border, no visa, nothing. See, America, we don't have to be so uncivil about borders, okay? <laughs> right now, I'm in Kenya. I turn on the other side of that rock. I'm in Tanzania. 
No flight. No nothing. I'm in the Serengeti. <sighs> my future man, if this is not the energy you bring, my friend, you're not my future man. <laughs> For it to uh, build one house. Uh, three months. To build oh, three house. months. Yeah. So where do you sleep in the meantime? Just outside? Uh, when you make the house? Yeah, when you're making it. Uh, we build the house before we move. Oh, okay. Oh, smart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Look, 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 this bed? This is oh, No, no, I see. Excuse me. Hi, babies. Sorry. They're asleep. Thank you. Camera the whole time. Look at the babies. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, let me tell y'all how they run game out here. Okay, let me tell you. So, what you gonna tell them? So I'm Ben. Uh huh. So you're really highly welcome. Thank you. Definitely for sure. The community they really appreciate your help. So yeah. What I'm gonna say, save Jenny back home. It may God allow your business and allow your family too. So be blessed, save the Jenny back home. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So they have you go around to so all these shops, right? They don't tell you how much it cost, and then you negotiate on on the arm. Wait, whose arm was it? Whose arm? Um, they write on their arm, and you go back and forth. Let me see the other one. They write their price, then you write your price. That's crazy. <laughs> we were, I got finesse because I just feel like, what? Okay, so let me tell you y'all how the Masay are some hustlers. I can't even be mad at the game. They, they welcome you with a welcome song, right? The girls come and put the jewelry on you, so you think, oh, I paid thirty dollars to already come to this so the jewelry must be included child you get to walking around and see how they live and you all you know you all emotional looking at the stuff and they're like oh you want to buy some stuff no worries they take you to this little back alley market in the village child and it's all the women in the village trying to get you to, to sell you stuff to be honest all of it mostly looks the same at every store you go and then you're like how much is it for me they told my friend how much like each thing started at they didn't tell me that they said we don't tell you we bargain that's how you bargain i said okay so of course they trying to hand you everything under the sun to get you to pick it child so i pick up eight items because i had to say no to about fifty thousand just to get through the circle of, of vendors shoppers whatever market so child you get to bargaining and they write on their arms how much they want to pay and you go back and forth and you bargain with them but the gag is they try to charge you for the necklace they put on your neck you didn't ask for it they showed us how to start a fire then they handed morgan my friend the stick they started it with and it was like it's a thousand dollars girl we can go get some, we from texas we're not to start a fucking fire <laughs> So I'm over here like, oh, I'm peeping game. I already know this necklace on my neck is going to cost something. So we get to bargaining, and they're like, oh, how much for the necklace? I said, I didn't even want this. Off. If it would have been cute, I would have left it. But no, off. So I paid $70, y'all. A keychain was probably worth two, if, if that. The magnet four. Oh, yeah. 
you know, there's the cows. They have a lot of cows. The Masai are known for their cattle. Um, anyway, long story short, the finesse was real. I got very finesse, but you know what? They live totally different than me, so it's okay to be finesse because you know it's gonna go to helping their kids go to school and different stuff like that. But I tell you what, the Marseille people, they some hustlers. Black people, we come from hustlers because I've seen it firsthand and got hustled myself right at the motherland. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Bye. Okay. Because <laughs> when you were first telling me, it didn't make sense, but it makes sense now. Yeah. Now, every time. Ooh. US 9. Ooh. Mombasa 6. US 9. All right, Bernard. Oh, no friends. Ah, oh, she won. Friends, <laughs> she was starting to panic. She was starting to panic. Yeah, when she see that I was just coming. Yeah. Closer to her, closer to her. She decided to win silence a little bit. <laughs> but guess who got the W? <laughs> guess who got the W? <laughs> Okay, we are about to leave the Mase Mara and go to Mombasa, Diani, to be specific. Coming to you live from Mombasa. I'm Olivia Henry here, and my friend Morgan is talking to every local possible. I am here enjoying 